Mike Pisano with FightFan.net. I'm here with La Mamba Heavy Hands Sayers. Uh, heavy hands, but you got the uh, submission tonight. Yeah, everybody underestimates my uh, ground game, you know what I mean? I was, I'm 24 and 0 as a boxer, you know what I'm saying? But I trained at Grappler's Edge with Sheldon Mar, legendary Sheldon Mar. He's like got black belts in every kind of martial arts you can think of. So my ground game is like one of my best assets in this game. What's next for you? Well, hopefully, you know what I mean? I just well, I just started training with Clarence Thatch, so I, I worked my ground game over at Grapplers, and I'm doing my uh, MMA striking and everything over there with Clarence Thatch. Uh -huh. So hopefully, you know what I mean, after this win, we can move on to bigger and better things. Uh, I tried out for the Ultimate Fighter a couple times. Um, I've talked to Strike Force a little bit, so uh -huh. hopefully I can get on the next stage. What's your record right now? My record right now is 3-1. and one. Okay. Um, and uh, what happened with the Ultimate Fighter? Are they interested? Well, both times that I went and tried out, I made it past all three rounds, but what happened was they went with the 155ers for the light heavyweight show, and then this last time they went with the 170 pounders. Gotcha. So I didn't make it on the show, unfortunately. So. Yeah. Hey, uh, you saw the Dragon Lee tonight. He was pretty impressive. People were saying you would make a good fight with him. Well, I mean, I'm not going to take nothing from the kid because anybody can win a fight. Me and Jason Lee, we've, we've, we were rivals once before uh, as far as Pancrase. I, uh -huh. I beat Jason Lee like 14 to nothing at Pancrase to win the world championship at, uh, in the grappling tournament. Right. What if that fight was stand-up? Oh, hands down, I got it. Right. Hands down. I mean, you know what I mean? Like I was saying in the cage, I feel like pound for pound in the state of Colorado, I am the number 185 pound fighter. Right, at the end of the fight you did say that. Was that kind of a call out? Anybody in particular? Yeah, who man. Who do you think's the best in that class in the state? Me. All right. Who, who do you think is the best next to you that you'd like to take on just to make it to the next level? Well, I mean, everybody says Sean Sims' name, but Sean Sims is still kind of new to the game, but he has his black belt in jiu-jitsu. Uh -huh. But once you start throwing punches and stuff, and black belts, and so you turn back to green belts, whatever, you know what I mean? It don't, you know what I mean? That that stuff don't matter, you know what I mean? I come from five points east side of Denver, you know what I'm saying? So it don't matter what you got. It don't matter how long you've been training. Once you get in there and fight, you you might have beat everybody else, but when you step into that cage, you fight me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a whole different story. I, I know when I get in the cage, my life is on the line, so I got to go in all in and be ready to go all down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, um... Do you have two fights scheduled into the future? Nah, no. I mean, it's it's. I gotta go fight by fight because nobody will fight me. It's hard. I mean, like, I was supposed to fight Jason Lee this fight. Uh huh. And the camp turned down the fight. I was supposed to fight Sean Sims on February 25th. They said they didn't want to fight that fight. Uh, I was supposed to fight Jeremy Kimball in March. They said they don't want the fight. I'm not. Plus, I already beat Jeremy Kimball. Uh -huh. and, and Jeremy Kimball beat Jason Lee. So, uh -huh. you know, I mean, it's just it's. I don't know, it's kind of like, it's, it's depressing sometimes, but then it's a good thing when you can step back and just be like, okay, maybe it's because they respect the way I fight, you know what I mean? So maybe y'all need to bring somebody else in, you know what yeah. I mean? Colorado's a small circuit. I'm trying to get to the big stage and trying to move on to bigger and better things. And there's going to be other fighters that are looking to get to the big stage, and they're going to need somebody tough to fight because they're not going to get to the big stage fighting easy fights. Yeah. So they might need you that. Hey, well, I'm ready for whoever wanted at any time, any place, as long as it's professional. You know what I mean? I am the Muhammad Ali of MMA, MMA's Black Picasso. My right hand is the dynamite, the left one is the CFO. So if they if they want it, they can get it whenever they want it. You know what I mean? Yeah. They sign that contract and we're going to get it. I'm not ducking. I'm not dodging. There was an interview where they said I called out Anderson Silva. I never called Silva out. What I said was if they said you got to fight Silva tomorrow, me and Silva will fight tomorrow. You know what I mean? I have no, I don't fear no man but God. So, hey, if y'all, for all the 185ers, if you're willing to take a fight against me, I'm willing to take a fight against you. I have no fear in me, and I'm ready to go at any time. So, let's go. All right. You heard it. Fightfan.net here with the Mumba. Good fight. Thanks Thank a you, lot. Sir. Thank you.